everyone welcome back today we are continuing with sword and fairy and this is episode 30th and will be my last one for today so let's hope the episode ends without a crazy cliff hanger or whatever it is that it wants to end on on a better note because i doubt anything is going to be super happy anymore let's go Jiang 归墟，世间所有的记忆，最终流入之处，在惊心动魄、缠绵悱恻的记忆，在这归墟中，都如同最寻常的流水一般。这龙角有何用？用来伪造热海药环，真的在你手上，不是吗？热海药环本就是用龙骨打造的，龙骨上面残留的神力可以迷惑祝羽，让祝羽以为我们交出的是真的药环。你们这么做是为什么？说来话长
他，他只是去疗伤。等他回来了，就一定会还给你一个活蹦乱跳的三哥。嗯，真的，真的。哼，害我白白担心一场。等他回来，我一定要让他亲自编一百个草蜻蜓给我，每个都要不一样。你是想为难死你三哥吗？对呀、啊。二姐，你怎么了？眼睛难受。哦，是啊，眼睛里面进了好大一颗沙子为何在这记忆长流中，我寻不到你们的记忆？我们是从三年后来的。三年后，我要在你的记忆中找寻信息。知晓你们的身份和来意，我不能创造，只能交换。你的存在将作为代价彻底消失。今后，这个世间将无人再记得，即使我也不例外。你做好准备了吗？说实话。我曾经被人遗忘过，那种恐惧和绝望，即使时隔多年，回想起来依旧有窒息之感。而如今，老大、二姐、小袁。我所珍惜的人都会忘记我，无论再给我多少准备时间，我都无法接受。可是只有我，才能交换出月金朝不舍。与其的印记刻在你的灵魂之上，这本不是生命所有之物。我也无法创造。你既心有所愿，便上前来吧。愿意为一个与自己毫不相干的人而牺牲生命，人类呀、啊！我倒是对横道中有些刮目相看。如果换成是我，我也会换的。我会的，多谢。是我该谢谢你，很多事我无法去做，但你可以。岳金钊，我还要送新生的你一个礼物。什么？我在暗中监视你们许久，你们所经历的种种，我大多都看在眼里。我会将我的一些记忆封存在你的左眼里，就当是我最后对你们的一种补偿。Oh, that's how. So, every time I see your face, that was the future. That was the future. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah
that he's already seen before. That's sad. That's sad, all the memories are gonna be gone of him.
今朝，以后的三年，多多指教。我们大家在三年后等你们，你一定要带着小月来找我们呀！这世间所发生的一切，都是命中注定的。没想到，我们竟如此有缘分。难得世叔如此胆敢。好了，该走了，我们还要将他们带到屋檐村。是该离开了。我送你等回去。岳今朝，你相信命运吗？有人和我说过，命运只是一种可能，并非不可改变。我觉得很有道理。是上代无垢守护所言吧？可你是否还记得，寒水未树曾预言，你等六人中，有二人不日将会逝去。记得。在不久的将来，你的生命即将终结。晚些时候，横道中的人就该找过来了。云来时在发光。实在接近，师傅就曾因为无垢异象而前来查看。明秀姐，你想找顾前辈就去吧。It's happy she gets to see him, but at the same time, this is just sad again. I remember that because when she comes out, he's, I think, like, was in a worse mood or something happened. So I wonder if she ends up talking to him. Wow. 
now. Visiting the depression.
，师傅，那里边的药物都被我给解决了。Hey, gave it to you. 见此处的花开得甚好，心中不忍寒彻。我明白了，师傅，师傅，这次是真的再见了。跟韩兄兄告别了吗？嗯。我一直都想知道，三年前的七月十四究竟发生了什么，可没想到，竟然是我自己。后悔见到他吗？或许吧，但是能见他一面，让他亲手为我簪上这只木槿，师傅他终究还是如了我的愿。师傅他虽为人温柔，可作为师傅，却是比他人都要严苛。这次，我冒着扰乱时间之流的危险来找他。要是放在平时，他说不定会将我逐出师门。你是他从小教养大的小兄，他怎么舍得？走吧。逝者长忆，生者常怀。明姑娘，前辈还好吗？嗯，抱歉，让大家久等了。能够再次见到心中所念之人，确实是件幸事。进去以后，我们就不再记得匾额还了。等我们回到三年后，天鬼会将他的一切抹去，他就会像从来没有存在过一样。可一个人存在的痕迹，真的能悄无声息的全被抹去吗？只要他的信念和使命在我们的心里。即便我们不再记得他，那他也是活着的
Wow. That is sad. That's what he said. It's sad. It's just really sad that his existence came to that and nobody remembers him and he never really truly expressed how he felt towards her so it's just very sad Ugh. too many things too many things yeah of course closer to the end of the drama we need tissues non-stop and that was just really <sighs> really sad ending i don't like it so far i I don't want it to end like this. So we do not really have that many episodes left. Um, there's 36 and we are already on the 30th episode. Honestly, I have no idea what there could be. They already showed as much <sighs> sad moments as possible. Besides, of course, more death happening. And that's pretty much what it's going to be coming to and but i just felt like if it has to do anything with the main characters that's where it's the most saddest and then we're revisiting the same things again and the next thing you know he's just disappearing from everybody's life like he never existed by living leaving a little note or a message that he likes her and he got to say it but she doesn't know nothing about it. So it's that much more depressing. <sighs> I'm done for today. This is just exhausting me today. I'm, I'm going to go to bed now. Okay. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, watching, liking, and commenting. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when things come out. And I will see you next time. Oh